Welcome to our yin yoga class. Nice to see you here on a cold night when we're doing our class. So nice and cozy, have your cushions, your supports all around you so that you'll feel cozy and supported and safe. Coming to our mat, we'll turn so that we face the front of the mat. Taking your right foot in towards your inner thigh and left foot in front. Here in a version of easy pose, we sit, we take our palms up towards the sky, close your eyes and breathe. Close your eyes and find stillness. Close your eyes and smile. Close your eyes and feel confident, feel happy with yourself. Our theme for our class is confidence, feeling happy with ourself, self-love. Sometimes when we have a busy day, and things may not go as we thought or planned, or maybe something happens and it makes us feel bad. Knowing that we can come back to ourselves and know that we are confident in ourselves, turning inward to make ourselves feel that balance again, that strength within it within, and that it is okay. Let your head soften. Just a little tip of the head chin to the chest. And slowly bring our head up. And then coming into our other side by bringing our left foot in towards our groin and then the right foot. Again, you may turn the palms up towards the sky you may close your eyes. You may draw your chin down towards your chest. Just a little tip of the chin. To feel happy, to feel confident within ourselves. Taking in nourishment to serve our physical body, to serve our mind. Doing things to help us to fulfill our potential. Being courageous, being brave. If the outcome was unexpected, not maybe what we had planned, knowing that it's okay. Knowing that it's okay to let it go.
We open up our eyes. We take our hands to the sides of our body. So just one hand to one side and one hand to the other, taking our legs forward and take your feet wider than the hips in windshield wiper, knees side to side. Our next pose is a twist. This time we will come into easy pose, crossing your right leg in front of the left leg. We sit up tall with an inhale breath and we are confident. Take your right hand down towards the ground and a little twist here to the right. And then come back to the center. Take the left hand down towards the ground and then take your right hand over to the outside of the left knee. We sit up tall again with a nice inhale breath. Twisting over now to the left side, exhale. Inhale, we hold, closing our eyes. Exhale, we hold and we breathe. You may tip your chin down. Our shoulders relax, releasing them away from our ears, let them melt. Breathing into our center, our chest, our back, our belly. Feel your inhale breath open up your body. Open up through the front of our body. Coming out of our twist, we slowly twist to the other side, to our right side. And then come back to the center. I'm crossing your legs and crossing your right leg in first and left leg in front. So just the opposite now. Twist again, just to the left side and then coming into the right side now. Here we twist. So take the left hand onto the outside of the knee, right hand down and inhale, sit up. Exhale, twisting to the other side. We sit up tall, use your breath. You may close your eyes. You may tip your chin down, just a little bit into our chest here. Notice your shoulders, letting them release, relax, away from your ears.
lifting your chin, gently coming out of the twist, twisting to the other side. We take a moment to the other side and then come back around. Deer pose, next pose, taking the left leg in front, right leg comes behind. We add that pelvic tilt through the right hip, pressing it forward, right and left hand, be towards the center. You can add the twist. So lifting up, being confident, we sit tall, we twist. You may add the fold forward, so the fold into the ground. You may let the forehead rest onto your, the palms of your hands with the elbows down, or letting the forehead rest onto the hands, the ground. Here with letting our forehead rest, helps us to come back to ourselves, to feel grounded. Slowly making your way out of deer pose. If you're holding forward, you can come out nice and slow. Then twist to the other side. And coming out of the twist, taking the right leg in front now, and left leg comes behind for deer pose. Onto the other side. Stretching through the front of our thigh and our hip flex, we add a pelvic tilt. You can add the twist and fold into the ground. Let your forehead rest here with elbows down and then forehead resting into the palms of the hands or forehead resting onto your hands for the ground. Let yourself release. Again, with our forehead resting, it'll help us to feel grounded, to feel whole. Coming back to ourself, our confidence.
Coming out of deer pose. We come up. Coming out of the twist, you may twist over to the other side. Slowly back to center. Our next pose, dragon fly. It's with our legs into a V. When you do dragon fly, you may fold forward. So do it this way without any support. So you just let yourself go this way. If you find that your hamstrings or your back, of course, usually tight, but if they are tight right now, then you can sit on something so it's higher. So you can have, a, here's a blanket to sit on. You may need a little bit more of a prop, something a little bit firmer. So I'm gonna sit onto my cushion here. I'll take my legs out. So my hips are higher than my knees. And then it's going to help me so I can get lower down to the ground and it's not as hopefully hard on my, my lower back. I let my head go. Okay, and then one more thing. We're going to be holding this pose for three, about three minutes. So just taking your time to set up. You can have a pillow, your cushions. I'm going to have my bolster in front here and then lie down. Can also use when I have my cushion in front, my block underneath my bolster, and then lie down this way and fold forward. Okay, a few different ways to come into Dragonfly, depending what you would like to do for yourself. These could always be bent. and breathe. Do you hear your heart beating? Goal is to come into an even breath and slow our heart rate down. If your cheek is resting on a pillow or bolster, you turn your head and let your other cheek rest.
slowly making your way out of Dragonfly by untwisting your head and your cheek resting and then making your way up. And take your hands behind your bottom, bend through the knees. Hold for a moment. And take whatever props that you're using to the side. You can sit on the side of your body, take the legs over, and then move your props. So they're not in your way. To our next pose, all fours. It will be sleeping swan. You may lie on your back into figure four for sleeping swan two. If it doesn't work for you, I will show you figure, figure four in just a moment. So if you want to come into sleeping swan with me, I will have a cushion underneath my right hip. So if you want to have that handy, just by your side here. Step forward with the right hand, then left hand into downward facing dog, three legged dog. Take the right leg up towards the sky, bend the knee, and bring your knee forward. Turn your right knee out into the right wrist. Place your cushion underneath or block underneath the right hip. My right toes are down, right, our left toes are down towards the ground right now. To help me square the hips, then I may add the fold forward. For sleeping swan and my forehead rests. You may uncurl the toes and then your pelvis is able to sink a little bit deeper into the ground, but you choose if you'd like to do that. If this pose does not work for you, you may lie on your back and cross the right ankle over the left knee and figure four threading the needle and hold. It feels really nice to release our pelvis. This may be an area that you hold tension, tightness, and everything is wrapping around our pelvis into our back, our lower back, our hamstrings, our hip flexors. our core muscles. Feel yourself let go a little bit more. If you are in sleeping swan, please slowly start to make your way up. If you are in figure four, release, draw your knees into the chest. Eight, 
into downward facing dog from sleeping swan. Then all fours and come down and your support, your pillow or your block, just changing it over to the other side. For your four, you may switch legs so that your left ankle is pressing over the right knee and hold or sleeping pigeon. So from all fours, we step forward the right hand, then left hand into downward facing dog. Three like a dog, take the left leg up towards the sky, bend the knee and turn your left knee out to the left wrist. Place your pillow or block underneath the left hip for that support. Coming down into sleeping swan. Great toes could be down towards the ground or uncurl the toes and then your pelvis is able to sink a little bit more. Notice if you are then rolling over to your right side, rolling over to the right side of the pelvis. And then if so, come back so that you will have your hips square. With the forehead resting, we breathe. We breathe, we are happy with ourselves. We feel good about ourselves. Making our way out of sleeping swan. We make our way up. Drawing our back, and across your ankle. From the right knee to downward facing dog, and then all fours. Next pose is puppy pose. So I'm just going to move my pillow here. And puppy pose, drawing our heart towards the ground. Toes back down towards the ground. I'm just going to come a little bit back because I want you to do a nice big step forward with the right hand and a big step forward with the left hand. Here we come down to our forearms. Our hips are over top of our knees. Draw your forehead down to the ground. 
If this pose does not work for your knees, you may lie on the side of the body, you can lie in fetal, or you can lie on your back, and then taking your knees in towards the chest to cradle. Let your heart soften into the ground. Letting your heart soften, being gentle with yourself. I love puppy pose. Slide your hands back. Come to all fours and we sit over to the side of our body. Our next pose is caterpillar pose. Sitting on our bottom, you may have some cushions on top of your legs. So take your legs out first in front of you. Remove the fleshy part from your bottom. I have about two fists distance between my feet. You may place pillows on top or without pillows, you may let yourself fold over and let yourself hang. You can stack those pillows on top of each other too, and then let the forehead rest down towards your pillow. Now with an inhale breath, we lift up. Exhale breath, fold up and over top. See if you can get your forehead to rest here, but if it doesn't work for you, for your props, you can turn your cheek and let it rest here. Turn your head and let your cheek rest, I should say.
If you find that you're able to get a little closer down into the ground, can you move the prop and come back into stillness? Breathe in to your lower back. Breathe into front of your body. Breathe into the top of your back. Exhale, notice that you're able to fold into the ground a little bit more. Coming out of Caterpillar, up. And set your props over to the side. Take your hands down to the ground, bend to the knees. You may take your feet wider than the hips and windshield wiper, knees side to side. And then rolling over to the side of the body. And coming over to your back. Knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor. Taking the right knee into the chest and then left knee into the chest and holding cradle. Your feet just dangle, let them go. Into our next pose, legs up the wall, taking your legs up and long. With our legs straight, just relax your feet. Your hands may come down sides of our body where
For our next pose, it is lying on our back with bringing our legs up and over to the left side. You may place a blanket on your body when you come into this pose. Taking care of ourselves. So bending through the knees, take the knees one more time into the chest. And then you may take your legs up and over to the left side. And arms in line with your shoulders. So before you can come, before you come into stillness, if you would like to place a blanket on your body, okay. Or even just on the lower part of your body. You may turn your head the opposite way of your legs. You can think about the twist that we did at the beginning of our class. Started with. Noticing how you're feeling right now with this twist compared to the, to the twist that we did right at the beginning when we were up it. Turning your head back towards the center. Taking our legs, coming back towards the center. They can come up into the center. Now, coming into our other side. Taking your legs up and over to the other side. Arms coming in line with our shoulders. And our head turns the opposite way of our legs. Our eyes close. You may have that blanket all on your body.
coming out of our twist, taking our head back towards the center, taking our legs back towards the center and take your knees in towards chest. And releasing, right foot, left foot down to the ground. Our Pothra Pose. It is a Shavasana or a Pentacle. And lying on the side of your body, on your back, or you may sit in an easy pose. So sitting on the bottom, your bottom, or you can sit in a chair. When you come into your meditation here, I would like you to think about what is going to, what does make you happy? What is going to, what does help you to build your confidence and make you feel confident? Makes you feel good about yourself. Helps you to let your light shine. In Shavasana, we let ourselves be. And we squeeze your glutes and then we release them. Our eyes closed, we have heavy eye sockets. Our lips part. Facial muscles soften. Our neck muscles release. Our shoulders soften. Our arms sink, let go, letting, all, letting go all that does not serve us out through our fingers. Feel the front of your body, the back of your body soften. Our legs sink, let go, and everything that does not serve us coming out through our toes. We'll be here for a few minutes. Feeling the warmth and a happy glow around you. I will call you back when it is time.
slowly coming out of Shavasana. Noticing sounds around you. The surface your body is lying on. See your breath. your toes and your fingers. And holding. Knowing that our class has provided us nourishment in body and mind. Us feel happy. Taking care of ourselves. If you're lying on your back, you can bend through the right knee and left knee. You may draw your right arm overhead and roll over to your right side to fetal. And take a moment. And slowly making your way up to a comfortable seated position here. Placing your hands to your heart center. Letting yourself feel the stillness. Fullness. Happiness and confidence. Thank you so much for joining me and sharing your practice. Namaste. Thank mm -hmm. you.